Alrighty, I have my quote that I want to put on there that is 15 by 9 inches in height. It's 15 inches in width and 9 inches in height. And then the dog bone is, let's see, 8 inches in width and 4 inches in height. And I'm going to click make it. And you want to make sure that the material size is 12 by 24 inches mat and I'm using the blue mat right here and I'm going to apply my freezer paper shiny side down have my dial changed to custom settings and then you're going to change it to parchment paper let's see scroll down to parchment paper, click done, and then you're just going to click the go button. Once your project is done cutting, you're just going to want to go ahead and unload your mat from your Cricut. And then I always take my mat and turn it upside down and peel it that way so that the paper doesn't curl. That's also why I use the blue mat because it's less sticky and anytime I ever use the green mat, the parchment paper would just curl and it would just be a hot mess whenever I was trying to pin it down to the doormat. Now I'm just going to take my little scraper spatula thing, I don't know the exact name for it, but I'm just going to take that and scrape up all the letters that I'm not using, but you want to make sure that you keep the pieces that go inside the G and the E's and stuff like that because you're going to need it for your stencil. I have my fiance do this part because he can apply way more pressure than me. You're just going to want to take an iron and I put it on the highest setting and you just want to press down for a few seconds on each section of your stencil and then if you have little pieces that are still sticking up, you're just going to want to take little pins. I get ours from Walmart. I forget exactly how much they are, but I'll look them up and link them in the description. You're just going to want to take those and pin the rest of your pieces down before you go and spray it for, with the Flex Seal. Now the last step that we do before we spray our Flex Seal is take some scrap paper, like computer paper, cardstock, and just fill in the gaps around the quote so none of the overspray gets onto the rest of the mat. And you're just going to want to pin those down and then you'll be ready to spray your Flex Seal. Okay, so we're outside in our garage spraying this because you don't want the Flex Seal to get on anything. It's super sticky and does not come off. So make sure you're super careful wherever you're doing your doormats. 
you're going to want to spray it at least a few inches away, at least twice, maybe three times if you want to, and then we'll be ready to pull it up in just a few seconds. As soon as I'm done spraying my Flex Seal over my stencil, I'm just going to want to go ahead and pull it up. And then when you're done with that, the last thing you'll need to do is just take a pin and get the little pieces that are left in the letters. And then when you're done with that, your doormat will be ready after you wait at least 24 hours for it to dry. Here we are. This is the doormat once it's finished drying. I love these doormats so much. They're super cute. I love that you can personalize them basically any way you want with any quotes, the fonts that you have, and they're super easy to make. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment or you can message me on my Facebook. I'll link that in the description below. Thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for future tutorials. Bye guys.